been a while since I played this. It's November 25th right now, so I haven't played this for exactly two months. Well, I suppose here we go. This is gonna make absolutely no sense if you haven't seen episode three, but uh, welcome back to the hardcore world, I guess. Uh, yay. All right, so anyway, my goal for this episode is to beat the game, and I have high hopes that I can actually do it this time, even though I clearly did not do it last episode. Also, that's my house over there. I'm still yet to move any of my stuff in there, and I have some loose copper just in these furnaces. All right, that's great. I should probably just go ahead and move my stuff. Also, my farms are like unnecessarily far away from that. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to overcome the odds and just get a better renewable food source than that. All right, well, I'll mine up these furnaces. Also, I do have efficiency five. It did not take me that long. All right, I'm officially moving in. Okay, I got that stuff in there. Now I gotta go empty these chests. It's gonna be a pain because I don't have enough inventory space. So I'm just gonna have to do this kind of quickly. I mean, I have five minutes, but whatever. Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't even pick up the chest. I didn't even pick up the chest. I have to go back and get it. Okay, shove all this crap into the chest. I love it. I love watching it all just spill out. Now, I'm not making the mistake this time. I'm taking the chests. Okay, I'm gonna shove a bunch of stuff in here. And for the last double chest, I'm just gonna break the whole thing. Here we go. All the items just falling out. And my FPS, you know, it's still kind of stable. Is there any other stuff that I can put into this? No, I'm all good. The rest of it will go in here. Actually, no, I don't think I need them. Yeah, I already have that double chest. Now I gotta go pick up this stuff. Can't let my diamonds despawn. Also, I should mention, it's day 41. I played this for quite a while. Actually, no, you know what? Most of it was just me AFKing, because I had this one really, really long AFK session. Okay, you know, I should probably sleep now. I lit up the area around that place and my house. It took me a while, but you know what? It's done. I don't need to worry about doing it later. All right, I got all this stuff, and now I have to bring my enchanting table. You know, fun fact, I used to think that this was actually called an enchantment table, so I called it the enchantment table, but I guess it's actually called an enchanting table. Okay, and now I gotta place my enchanting table outside. Okay. Okay, enchantment table. I just called the enchantment table again. And grindstone there. All right, I'm done. I'm I'm officially. What? As I was saying, I'm officially done. You know, I probably need to repair my bow. Jeez, I cannot keep track of what I need to do. Oh, I just tried to do that. Wow, I'm so good at crafting. I don't have enough levels to do a proper level 30 enchant on this, and I also don't feel like going, like, waiting forever, so I'm, uh... Oh my god. You have got to be kidding me. That was, like, the worst enchantment I could have gotten. I picked Unbreaking 2 with the hopes of getting something else along with it. Please be so- okay, power two. I will combine these in an anvil. That's expensive. Is this le that's way less expensive. Okay, now I might have a sporting chance at winning against the nether. I really hope so. I, I probably need more arrows. Thank god I even have any flint. That's a miracle in itself. And I have plenty of feathers. That's good. So I think- I gotta remember this. It's a feather-tipped arrow. No, it's not. It's not a feather- There we go. I have the perfect amount to get like a full stack, I think. One extra, are you kidding me? I think I'm finally, finally, I'm serious, I'm serious this time. Ready to conquer the nether, and this sheep needs to die. All right, I'm good. So all I need to do is get a whole butt ton of blaze rods. Enough to prepare for the future as well, because this is really, like, one of the best chances I'll have. I just realized I forgot to bring any sort of scaffolding block. Back up to the top I go. Okay, my block of choice is cobblestone, because I have, like, plenty of it. Okay, that really should be enough stuff, to, I, I, I hope. All right, now I need to prank down the render distance. All right, anyway, as I was saying, where do I go now? Actually, that's probably another waste over there, so I'm gonna go investigate that. Without dying to a single magma cube, I, I really, really hate magma cubes. That's a piglin. Piglins are my enemy in this. Now, I probably could have brought some gold ingots, but I honestly think I can just fend them off with a bow. I don't think it'll be a problem if I just, just stay as far as possible away from them. But you know what? I'm not gonna count on my instincts anymore to help me out in this game. I've learned that relying off of that alone Alone, it seems to be a terrible decision occasionally. All right, I suppose I should go down. Is there any piglins down there? I'm second guessing myself a bit too much. I think, you know, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna mine in here, and if I block this off, I should be safe. I'll use netherrack when possible as my building block because I don't want to waste all of my cobblestone. Way harder to get. Oh, that's a baby pig. Do those guys hurt me? I don't think they do. Uh, I don't see any ziglin. I just called it a ziglin. I don't see any piglins, but I'm learning again not to rely solely off of my instincts. Things. Now I'm, I'm I'm scared of that. All right, I'm on the move. I just heard a guest. You probably didn't, but I did. And you, oh, that's where it is. Can I get returned to sender, or would that be a little too risky? Please shoot a fireball at me. All right, you know what? You're dead. I don't even want to have to worry about dying. Honestly, I would rather just get this whole nether thing over with. You know what? Probably would have been a good idea to take a screenshot of my coordinates when I went through the portal. Um, I need to take a better screenshot than this. This is not as like a sufficient location to take a screenshot at. If I can get the location of the basalt 
called Delta, I should be okay. I'll just take a screenshot here. I don't want to run any further. This would be so much easier if I was doing this on 1.15. Should I go through the Soul Sand Valley? Or, but I, I really can't go through a Crimson Forest. I've done it before in No Armor, but still, I don't like skeletons. I've always hated skeletons, and I always will hate skeletons. But I do have to make my way through here, so I kind of got to kill them. I don't think that any fortresses can spawn in this biome, so I'm kind of gonna, just going to have to dig through it. It's not possible for me to see any further than 12 chunks in the nether, so I'm kind of limited. This doesn't even look like 12 chunks. The fog obscures so much of it. All right, uh, you know what? I could, guess I could just kind of scoot by this guy. You know, I'm going to shoot it down there. and eh, that looks a little risky. This is a stupid nut. There's another skeleton. All right, A-OK, -okay, and skeleton didn't even see me. Would it be safe to dig through this wall? I guess there's really only one way to find out. Okay, is this all that there is to the warp fort? Can I dig through here? It still says warp forest. Alright, I'm gonna trust that. Could it possibly- Oh, wait, what? I, did, I forgot that it could spawn at this height at all. Well, I got hidden in the depths before I even got any blaze rods. That's interesting. Oh, I'm back in nether waste. Am I gonna dig into some clearing, or is it just gonna be completely solid? What by- I'm in a crimson forest. It happens too often that people get the hot tourist destinations before they see a fortress. I have been digging for so long. Please give me some land. Oh, okay. So I have to traverse this place very carefully. You know what? If I get up on a tree, I'll just traverse this place. I will have to deal with the difficulties of a crimson forest. Yeah, I have enough blocks, but that's besides the point. This place is spooky. You know what? I'm not an experienced speedrunner who can route an entire bastion without any armor. All right, I got a bridge across this entire lava lake. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not 12 chunks because I can't even like really see the end of my bridge. And that was like a stack of blocks. What would be nice is being able to travel on top of the nether roof, but then I would have no idea where a fortress is. Oh, okay, those are piglins. Okay, they seem to be walking that way, but I think I could just go through the ceiling. As long as I'm just, like, careful. Okay, yeah, this is what we're talking about. Okay, I have to make my way down this way. I hate the fact that Mojang reduced the spawn rate of fortresses in 1.16, which is yet another reason that this would be so much easier in 1.15. Oh my god, face clan. Face clan in Minecraft. Ghast is dead in Minecraft. Okay, should I go that way or should I go that way? I have a good feeling that there isn't going to be a fortress that way. Really, I don't want to go through there. All right, this way it is. Got to kill some skeletons along the way, but that's not a problem. I can do that pretty easily. This is actually a little bit scary. I'm fighting a ghast while I'm on soul sand. Okay, the ghast like despawned or something. You know, this place actually looks pretty clear. Uh, never mind. There's some skeletons up here that are ready to have a little tussle. I can block them both with my shield. Never mind. Not a problem. Not a problem. I just ate. You just killed your friend. I believe that's murder. No murder allowed in this game. Okay, you know, I kind of just violated that. Still navigating the Soul Sand Valley without any luck in fortresses. Alright, yeah, that's a crimson forest. Dang it, game. You're really, really trying to screw me over here. What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you, huh? Hold on. And that's a gas. Why are you shooting at me from that far away? Aren't you supposed to, like, despawn after a certain distance? Oh my god. I'm sick of recording. I'm, I'm just gonna take a break. And from here, everything went downhill. I didn't record for over a week after that, and when I did finally decide to record, I may have accidentally recorded to the wrong format and forgot to record my microphone audio. And when I took just one second to quickly look at my phone, this is what happened. So what am I going to do now? I'm definitely not pulling another episode 3 where I kind of just redid everything. I don't have the patience to do that again. But I am still determined to beat the game without any armor, which is why my next video is going to be part 2 of the Stone Tools series. So stay tuned for that, because in that I'm also not allowed to wear any armor. And I have to beat the game with only stone tools. Hopefully I can get that out in the next week, but I'm not going to make a promise.